Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Eons of Battle, and today I'm going to show you how I put battle damage into an Aegis defense line. Now this is an Aegis defense line I'm building specifically for my Gene Stealer cult, so I wanted it to look like it was absolutely ruined and had been stolen uh, from the Imperial Guard. Here's a list of the supplies you'll need. Alright, so the first thing I did was I picked out an area for the battle damage, and then I drew out a rough template of what I wanted. And then once I had a section that I was happy with, I then uh, used a hand drill, and I began uh, drilling a bunch of holes in that section. I want to remove as much material as possible, just to make it a little bit easier on myself later on. Once I finished drilling out my holes, I then went in with some clippers to take out this section of the wall. And then once I had that section cut out, I went in very carefully with my hobby knife and I finished shaping the hole. Now make sure that you, you work very, very carefully with this. Take off very, very small pieces uh, at a time, work very, very slowly, and if you find uh, that you, you're getting a lot of resistance, either uh, take off smaller pieces with each, with each cut or uh, switch out your blade for a fresh one. Once I had damage in the wall the shape that I wanted it to be, I then took some screen door material and with a sharpie, I drew out a rough template of uh, what material I was going to need. It's going to be important to have a really, really good fit in the, this small patch and uh, the damage. I just took some scissors and then I cut it out, and then uh, I, ma I matched it up to see uh, how close I got, and it needed a little bit more trimming. Uh, and then once it fit in place, I then used some super glue to bind it in place. Now what's really going to help merge the two pieces together is I'm going to be sprinkling some baking soda into the super glue. The baking soda is going to be uh, an instant activator for the super glue, and it's going to help the wall texture blend into the damage. So make sure that you get the super glue all around on both sides of the damage, and that's really going to help seal the screen material in place. Right? And then once you have uh, that all figured out, I went in with some sewing clippers and then I very, very carefully removed the middle of the screen. This is going to help make it look like uh, something smashed through the wall. Now you have a, a finished destroyed section of Aegis Defense Line. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, leave a comment below if you have any ideas or techniques you'd like to see us do. You can follow us at Facebook at EOB Fans, and you can follow us at Twitter at Eons of Battle. Thanks for watching.